Hi people. It's just a Tuesday afternoon and there's a lot of noise out here from the demolition going on across the street. And it's just amazing how how long it's taking to dismantle this building. And <coughs> I can see what they're doing, and it seems pretty organized and responsible, and it just reminds me of September 11th, uh, for which we had an anniversary recently. You know, how could those two towers and World Trade Center 7 come down the way they did so quickly I mean pretty much in at free fall speed I haven't been very close to controlled demolition but there was a famous one near where I live here in France not too many years ago over in La Courneuve uh, it was one of the buildings of several of the buildings of the Cosmonaut Cité de Quatre Mille it was a huge huge old housing project which got really run down and like this one um, they wanted to rehouse everybody and destroy it and Replace it with another housing project, and that I I know that one of them actually was dynamited, and people were told about it in the region in advance, and I heard it go off. It's only about I would say oh it must be way less than two miles from here, and it was like boom 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 boom. Just the way the firefighters described uh, the tower or towers at World Trade Center coming down. You know, it was done floor by floor. So it's a really hot day in mid September here in France. And I'm glad to see the old building go. Lots of ruckus. Also, they do uh, a garbage collection here uh, once a month. And I, I woke up around, I guess it was around 6 o'clock this morning, and there was quite a noise from this collection truck here. But what they do with the large objects of garbage, like furniture and appliances and things, is uh, a lot of it actually can be recycled and uh, given, actually given to people, and it provides useful employment. See, you hear that ruckus? You know, it's annoying, but it's kind of funny. So, I've, I've never talked about this really, but I had a, a friend who disappeared on September 11th, and I don't know exactly where he worked in Wall Street, but it could have been in one of the towers. I, I don't know. Now, it's also entirely possible that he was traumatized, and that after more than 10 years of being my friend, he just didn't really want to know me anymore, you know. I'd already been over here in France for quite a few years, and I'd been back to see him. Oh, listen to all that glass. Ooh. Looks like a big window just fell down. Uh, he may have gone out of touch by choice. His brother did not respond to me, and... You know, uh, there was whatever reason for that. 
But another friend who breathed that dust uh, died about four years ago. Got sick immediately. Uh, two types of cancer. Bone cancer, then kidney cancer. And another one who was very, very dear to me personally, and whom I also m almost... Oh, wow, yeah, they're throwing down whole sheets of glass. Uh, who was actually a fiancé. Uh, apparently was living down there and became very sick as a result of the dust and the environment. Probably. I mean, that's what he says. But it, it could be true. And really, you know, I don't care if, if an airplane crashed into this building or not. I don't think it would come down. I, I don't think it would. Not, not like those did. And I do remember that there was a passenger jet which crashed in Russia about 10 years ago. Sorry, I can't be more specific with details. But it was in a residential area. And I think it was Moscow, but I really I don't remember. I, I don't know very much about Russia. And... You know, the plane was destroyed, everybody was killed, uh, there was a fire, I mean, there was fuel burning up and stuff, I mean, but the building, the building didn't come down, the buildings didn't come down, you know, use your noodle people, alright, so happy Tuesday, see you later, bye.